Hello scholars, today we're going to read a story about the moon. It is called A Kite for Moon by Jane Yolen. A Kite for Moon by Jane Yolen and Heidi Stemple. The dedication for Neil Armstrong who showed us the way. It was morning and moon sat alone in the sky. The stars were all abed. No one below was singing to her. No one was sending up rockets or writing poems about her. No one was taking her photograph or painting her picture. Moon began to feel terribly sorry for herself. Down below, a very small boy flying his kite on the beach near his house looked up at Moon. Moon, he called up to her, don't be sad. He ran as far as he could all the way to the edge of the water where Moon sat on the horizon. He tried to hug Moon, as his mother did to him, whenever he was unhappy. But Moon was too far away. So he rode on his kite, promising to come someday for a visit. Then he let go of his kite sending it up, up, up for Moon. Days went by, years. Moon waxed and waned. She counted shooting stars and meteors. She worried about peace down on Earth and strange objects whizzing by. She eclipsed. Many nights, the boy watched Moon through a telescope his father had given him. Many days, he sent up a new kite for Moon. Red kites, blue kites, green kites, yellow. Some fell back to Earth. Some disappeared into the sky. And Moon watched the boy grow. Every day the boy studied hard. He learned his large numbers and his small sums. He learned algebra and equations. He learned geometry and tried to square the circle. He learned all about the sky and the moon. He learned to ride a bicycle, drive a car, fly a plane, and a rocket ship. Then one day, when he had learned enough, he went up, up, up in a big rocket ship with a fiery tail. A rocket ship with a big fiery tail. Hello, Moon, he said. I've come for that visit. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And the whole world watched. Well, I hope you enjoyed A Kite for Moon. Until next time, go out and do great works.